The Africa Centre for Disease Control says the recent news of a London man having been cured of the HIV virus gives them hope the disease could eventually be eliminated. But the medical body is warning this should not distract the continent from continuing with HIV prevention and treatment programs. CGTN's Coletta Wanjohi reports from Addis Ababa. Over a decade ago, Timothy Ray Brown, known as the Berlin patient, was declared HIV-free after a cell transplant in Germany. Now, doctors in London say an unidentified man has been declared free of the disease after a bone marrow transplant. The African Center for Disease Control says they are encouraged by the news that the disease may be curable, but much more research is needed. Well, at the program level, this is not the time to talk about it, um, because, you know, one thing, those donors are very rare. You cannot get... Uh, the donors and bone marrow transplantation is a very risky, complicated and painful procedure. Um, so we cannot discuss this as at a public health point of intervention. Dr. Kebede says that Africa should stay focused on proven measures of fighting HIV AIDS. There will be some solitary reports here and there uh, claiming that HIV has been cured. But that should not distract, you know, uh, or um, uh, countries to implement proven measures of HIV prevention, which is, you know, preventing HIV, empowering women and girls, and uh, increasing access to anti antiretroviral treatment. Statistics from the World Health Organization show there are over 25 million people living with HIV in Africa. The African Union says many countries are successfully fighting the disease and have reached a stage where the epidemic is under control with fewer new infections than the people living with HIV. UN AIDS maintains that the focus now should be on reducing new HIV infections and offering more flexible treatment options. When I joined UN AIDS and I want to share that, we were giving 18 pills a day to a sick person. We would have never, never, I said that, reach 22 million people on treatment if we were not working with private sector to change completely the dynamic and to make sure that today we will be giving them only one pill a day and soon it will be one injection every four months the new hiv cure may not be the magic bullet the continent has been waiting for but it does raise much needed hope Colette Anjoy, cgtn addis ababa ethiopia